We'll sing our first song together, Amazing Grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind. We'll sing it again, amazing grace, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind. song that we're going to sing is called A Different Dream. It's the main theme song for this year's VBS. So as we think about the lyrics, let's sing this next song together. This dream, this dream I have is different. It's not, it's not a dream that the world would dream this dream this dream i have is just for me but a dream that god gave to me listen listen i have a different dream it's not it's not a dream dream this dream this dream fulfills God's covenant it's a dream that God gave to me so I will not shake and so I will not shake or swim and I won't quit or run away it's a covenant dream that will come true and make oh, as I pray to him, as I pray to him each day, and knowing he's with me away, I'll make my life a masterpiece to save the world this sin. From the beginning, this dream, this dream I have is different. It's not. dream it's not it's not a dream that's just for me but a dream that God gave to me listen listen I have a different dream it's not it's not a dream dream this dream fulfills God's covenant it's a dream that God gave to me so I will not 
not shake, so I will not shake or sway, and I won't quit or run away. It's a covenant dreamy game that will come true. You make a way, and as I pray to Him each day, and knowing He's with me away, I'll make my life a masterpiece to say the word. The next song that we're going to sing is John 14, 6. Uh, what does, what position of Christ is John 14, 6? Sajin's hand was first. Sajin? True, true. Prophet, that's right, Sajin. John 14, 6 talks about the true prophet. So we'll sing this next song together. Jesus, Jesus. I am the way, I am the truth and the life. I'm the way, truth and life. No one, no one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other way. To, oh, 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 I want to follow my Lord Jesus who is the way to life. Oh, 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 I want to give my praise to Jesus. He's the truth and life. Yeah! Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. I'm the way, truth and life. And no one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other. We'll sing it from the top one more time. And Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. I'm the way, truth and life. No one, no one comes to Father, except through only me, there's no other way to, oh, 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 I want to follow my Lord Jesus, who is the way to life, oh, 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 I want to give my praise to Jesus, he's the truth and light, yeah, Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life, I am the way, truth and life, and no one comes to the Father except through only me, there's no other way to me, God. Amen. The next song that we're going to sing is Enter Into Prayer. Um, does anybody know what year Enter Into Prayer was made? <laughs> oh, Emma. Oh, so close. Oh, Pansogi. 2013, that's right. That's when I graduated from eighth grade. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll sing this next song together. Enter into prayer. As I enter, as I enter into prayer, I can feel the strength of God. I can soar on wings and rise above the clouds. As I enter, as I enter into prayer, I can feel the strength of God. I'll become the one God will you to save the nation. Mountain and mountains of scars are crumbling down till they become flat as plain. My life is being lifted up. In his covenant I'm raised. I will take, I will take the gospel to desperate souls in need and Jesus as the only answer he is life indeed I will deepen I will deepen my root within the gospel and I will live my life for it giving glory to God as I enter as I enter into prayer, I can feel the strength of God. I can soar on wings and rise above the clouds. As I enter, as I enter into prayer, I can feel the strength of God. I'll become the one God will you to save the nation mountain. 
mountains of scars are crumbling down till they become flat as plain. My life is being lifted up in this covenant of rage. I will take, have to take the gospel to desperate souls in need. And Jesus says the only answer, he is Christ indeed. I will deepen, I will deepen. Thank you. Um, our last few songs are going to be Summit, Summit, prayer. Summit Prayer. So, so as we think about the lyrics, we're going to sing this last song all together. Lord, at this time, Lord, at this time as I see your face. Again, let's have a quick time of prayer. Let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering all your precious remnants to this time of worship. May we truly concentrate on the word that is being given and not be hindered by those around us. We love you and we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let's all take out our prayer books and apostles' creeds. Are we all ready? 
Do y'all have our notebooks out? Notebooks, pencils, our prayer books? Okay. Okie dokie. Let's all look forward. And we're going to read the Apostles' Creed all together in one voice. Ready? Oh, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> okay, one voice. Three, two, one. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Okay, um, let's all wait now for Teacher Jen to come up and give us the message for today. Open up to Friday. Person who is blessed, three, two, one. May I delight only in the law of the Lord today as well and be the one who meditates on your law day and night and evening and afternoon and all that. Love, Lord, due to one. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of your Lord is sure, making wise and simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my body and token, my Redeemer. Prayer for vengeance and missions, each one. May I be consumed with the word today and tomorrow and afternoon and never do as well and testify to Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray, amen. Jesus, love, Jesus, power, Jesus, healing. What's, what's true healing? Emma. Emma. Making disciples of all nations. Spiritual healing. Save the posterity, you guys. But rec receive power through the Holy Spirit. Witness to the very ends of the earth. Good to summit healing summit. When the Holy Spirit works, doors of evangelism open, find hidden Lydia's, God's words fulfilled, change takes place, Christ, God's kingdom, Holy Spirit, pray, enjoy God's blessing, grace, and peace. Spiritual what the? Watchman, doctor, ambassador, watchman, doctor, ambassador, watchman, what do watchmen do? Do, 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 do. Enjoy or connect with the blessing of the throne. Spiritual doctors of spiritual healing, which transcends time and space. Do, 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 do. Spiritual ambassadors. Ambassadors of who? The Peke, prophet, priest, king, or Christ. Channel Light 27. Today's, today's message lost and found. Lost and found. There should be an O there. Did you find? Did you write down the title? Can I move on? Yes. No. Maybe so. Praise the Bible, verse Luke 15, 7, and 10, and 32. Last one there is a precious remnant. 
first one there is a precious remnant. I guess I guess you're a precious remnant. Are you there? Bungha. All right. If you're there, follow along. If not, listen with the ears of your heart, soul, and your physical body. Okay. It says, I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. Verse 10, 3 to 1. In the same way I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. 32. But we had to celebrate and be glad because this bro of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Dun, dun, dun. Some remnant saw in advance. I was hiding in the corner and as Harini came and Harini's like, I found you. Lesson objective. I once was lost and now I'm found. And we sing Amazing Grace today. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Wow. Wow, God's word is living and active, huh? We sing Amazing Grace today. Yeah, I guess you were once lost, but now you are, you are found. Is that Manny? Hey, Manny. Is that Benji? Hey, Benji. We missed you on Wednesday. Manny, we found you. You're good. Er, we found you. All right, can I move on? Yeah. All right, I'm going to move on. The parable of lost sheep. <laughs> Parable of lost sheep, oink, oink. Wrong animal? Sorry. Parable of a lost sheep. Moo. Whack. So there, so Jesus was in a, he was uh, eating one time. And then there were a bunch of sinners, tax collectors people look down on, especially the Pharisees and the religious leaders, and they all came, or even the sinners and the, the bad, evil people, they came to do what? To beat up Jesus? No, to, to listen to his word, right? There was tax collectors, gangsters, sinners, assassins, <gasps> They all came to do what? Listen, right? So we also need to listen to God's word. Kapish, Which means we got to focus. And we got to, well, God needs to open up our heart and our spiritual ears so we can listen. Because he's repenting. And then all of us, and so, and then in the corner, there was these Pharisees. And the first, he's like, no. Jesus is eating with sinners and tax collectors. What a bad man. Yeah, this man, he even welcomes sinners and eats with them. <gasps> That's preposterous. That's dirty. And Jesus is like, oh, I heard you even though they were really far away, because Jesus is God. He could hear everything. And then Jesus gave a story, eh, a parable. So in this story, there was a, 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 a hundred sheep. Ah, Shh. And there was a shepherd. Shepherd boy, Mido. And shepherd, Mido. Oh. Okay, so he was taking care of 99 sheep. Bleh. And there is this one troublemaker sheep. Ah. And this troublemaker sheep it ran away. Boing. 
fruit. So now, what is the shepherd going to do? The shepherd said to the other 99 sheep, stay here. And the sheep are like, oh, yes, sir, okay. We'll stay. So the 99 sheep, he left them, and the shepherd went to go look for that troublemaker sheep. He looked everywhere in an abandoned airplane place. Where is the sheep there? Oh, the sheep's still nowhere to be found. Oh, he looked on the road, by the mountainside, in the plains. Oh, is the sheep there? No. He, oh, he went downtown. He's looking, he's looking for the sheep. Where are you, Ralph? Where are you? No questions. Sheep, 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 sheep. No sheep. <sighs> so now he goes. He's traveling to all different places. Sheep, Ralph, Ralph, where are you? He can't. He can't. He couldn't find the sheep. Ah, he even went over here. Sheep, sheep, where are you, sheep? Ralph, where are you at? Still nowhere to be found. Uh, he even went over there. Oh, where are you, sheep? Ralph! No, Ralph. Oh. Where are you, Ralph? Where are you? And then he's like, ah, oh, I can't take it anymore. Let's go back home. <sighs> oh, you didn't even travel that far. There you are. So he found Ralph. And then what did he do? What did the shepherd do? He put the, sh the, sh the sheep on his shoulders and brought this little sheep back to the flock. He's like, let's go back home. Hold on, Manny. I'll take questions later, okay? Questions and comments later. I like your blue shirt. It matches Hapung. So he brought the sheep on his shoulders back to the flock. And oh, with the entire village and his neighbors and his friends and family, he's like, oh, I found the sheep. Let's celebrate. Woo, I found it. So he calls his friends and family on his Samsung Galaxy Fold. And then, come on, come over. Let's party. And then he, and the friends and family came over to, because they're celebrating. They, we found the sheep. Yay. Okay. And then, and then this is what Jesus says. Because just like that, just like the shepherd and the friends and family who were so happy for finding one sheep, Jesus is like, oh, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents or goes turns back to God than over 99 righteous people who have not strayed away. Yeah, so there's a celebration in heaven when somebody becomes a child of God, right? Like Manny, Manny accepted Jesus into his heart on Sunday. Was there rejoicing in heaven? Yeah, the angels were like, oh, Manny. All right. And then Jesus gives another story or parable. Oh, now this is this this time is a coin. Okay, so there's a, there's a couple. Sure, in five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. It's just an example, man. You calm down. Calmate. Dun 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 dun. So they got married. And the husband gave the wife, uh, what is it, 10 coins, 10 coins. And then with these 10 coins, he put it as a necklace. And this is a, so they didn't have no wedding engagement ring back then. I guess they put, they put the coins around the, like a necklace. Yeah, so he got, she, she got the, the necklace. 
And this is so precious to her, right? You don't want to lose it. It's like losing wedding ring. We don't want to do that. Because it's a symbol of his love. <sighs> but, oh, uh, she lost one coin. And she's, she's, she's panicking. <gasps> ah, I can't fight. I lost it. So what is she going to do? Oh, she's going to look all over the place, right? Dig in the sand. Uh, uh, look in the water. Look under the carpet. Everywhere, right? Why? It's just a little coin. But what does that little coin represent? That dude's, that dude's love, right? So she's looking all over the place. She's using her f flashlight, looking under. Ah, no, it, she couldn't find it. <sighs> so now she's uh, digging in the sand. Ah, she couldn't find it. Uh-oh. She's panicking. She's like, oh, wait, I remember I went swimming. Oh, okay. Let's, let's take the boat and let's look in the water. <laughs> and she's, she dove underneath the water. I can't find it. The coin. The heart of Tafiti. And then she's like, oh, wait, I remember oh, we went to pluck coconuts. Okay, I'm going to climb. Maybe if I go high, I could see it sparkling in the sand. But she still couldn't find it. So now she's asking the villagers, has anybody seen the coin? And everybody's like, no, no. So she's like, ah, let's travel. Coin, coin, where's the coin? She went all the way to Skokie, the village in Pizzeria. Coin, where's the coin? She even, he, she even went to Makisu Sushi Lounge. Coin, where's the coin? Lydia's mom, Lydia's dad. Did you see a coin over here? No. She's looking in our church playground. Where's the coin? She's digging through the wood chips. She's destroying our garden, looking for the coin. She's looking under our cars. Oh, okay, still, still couldn't find it. Ah, maybe Piro. Has anybody seen my coin? And she traveled even all the way to Cary. Where's the coin? She went to Emma's house. Where's the coin? Did you see my coin? Oh my gosh, this, the sheep, the sheep ran away. What is the sheep doing in Cary? Ah, looks like Mino has to go searching again. Ah, Crystal Street, Crystal Street. And she asked this old man. Ah, still couldn't find it. So she's like, ah, let's just go back home. So she went back home, and all of a sudden, this chicken comes out of nowhere. Ah! And the chicken's like, hmm? Hmm? <laughs> ah, hey, hey, stupid chicken. So now she found it. She found the coin, huh? Got that right. And she, her collection is complete. And what is she going to do? Celebrate with the entire village. I found it. <laughs> what song was this? You're welcome. <laughs> so just like that, Jesus is like, oh, there's going to be so much rejoicing and joy before the angels of God, they're all, they're all going to be celebrating over one sinner who repents and becomes a child of God. Yeah. So shine the light of Christ. Share the gospel. Help people become children of God. Find the hidden, prepared children of God. And Jesus didn't stop there. Now Jesus gave another story. 
parable of the lost son. Son and boy. No, S O N, Manny. Son as in boy. Your son. So there is a younger brother, an older brother. And there was a father. So the father had two sons. This is the younger one. That's the older one with the really long neck. <laughs> now, the, the younger son, ah, this selfish younger son. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me the money that you promised. Remember, you're going to split the money in half, some for the older brother and some for me. I want mine now. How oh, rude, huh? So the dad's like, okay, here's, the, here's my, my money. There's my treasure. Let's split it up evenly. Shh. So he split it up. All right, young son, here's your share. Spend it wisely. But what did this younger son do? Yeah. The younger son is like, oh, okay, sayonara. I'll see ya. He took it and he left home. Is that a wise thing to do? Yeah, yeah troublemaker. <laughs> he looks familiar. <laughs> Sayonara. And he left. And he went. He put, it in, he put it inside of his big Hello Kitty suitcase. And he traveled to the city. And what do you think he's going to do with all that money? Cha-ching! Oh, look at all that. Shopping time. No summit time. Shopping time. Uh-oh. Wonder, oh, Wonder Woman. What is this? Times Square? Time School of Rock? Anyways, this younger son went to go spend the money and have a jolly good old time. Oh, oh he saw, what is it? Krispy Kreme. <gasps> I like Krispy Kreme. So what does this young sunny boy do? Here. Oh, he had all the glazed donuts that he wanted. He spent all his money on food. Well, not all of it. He still has a lot left. He's like, oh, I think I need some new clothes. So where does he go? Gucci, oh Gucci? The, the young man went to buy some fancy new clothes. And the, the, pers the person, the business owner is probably like, what are you doing here? Dressed like that. Get out of here. And then what does the, the younger brother do? Who's talking now? <gasps> and the owner's like, oh. And then the younger son's like, I need a new, new tailor-made suit. Cha-ching! Banshee bond. Bond. Banshee bond. Oh, now he's bored. Now he needs some entertainment. So where does he go? Arcade. What is this? Dave and Buster's? Dave and Buster's arcade. What does he do at the arcade? He plays his favorite game. He spends a lot of money for entertainment and having fun. Relaxing. His favorite game? A Flappy Bird. Ooh, Brawl Stars. Super Mario. Animal Crossing. Solitaire. Fireman, Water Girl. Now he's like, I'm hungry, so I'm going to go to the most fancy restaurant. Oh, look at that restaurant, underwater restaurant. He's, he's looking at all the fish. <gasps> wow. Now I'm craving fish. <gasps> Here. Bring me the best. Oh, no, no, this glass, glass. Bring me the best food there is at this restaurant. Most expensive. Oh, so the chef come. Give him tuna. Oh, caviar. Oh, golden sushi with golden flakes. Sushi. Wow, that's a lot of money, huh? 
I don't know. But wow, great customer service. Yeah, he spent lots of money on food, having fun. After you have fun and eat lots of food, what happens to you? Remember he ate all those donuts too? Oh, wait a second. I know a good place to stay. There goes some really fancy hotel. And what does he do? What do you do when you're at a hotel? Just sleep? Oh, TV, oh, order room service. More food, more entertainment. Oh, he's almost out of money too, huh? But, oh, even golden toilet, what? Eat, sleep, poop, eat, sleep, poop, eat, sleep, poop, eat, sleep, poop. That was his life. Eat, sleep, poop, eat, sleep, poop, eat, sleep, poop. Eat, sleep, poop, drink water, eat, sleep, poop, play, eat, sleep, poop, entertainment, eat, sleep, poop, TV. <gasps> oh, breaking news. Oh, there was, oh, there was a pandemic. Uh-oh, or uh, famine. There was a famine, which means no food, no, no rain. Let's just pretend it's pandemic. So what happens when there's a pandemic? What happens to all the businesses? They close down. And they, you know what? Oh, he's out of money too. Uh-oh. Because he spent it all on eat, sleep, poop. He's like, uh-oh. What am I going to do? What are we going to... Oh, hey, Banchagi. Banchagi has a hole in his sock. Finally he came, right? It's been like a week. Oh. He ran out of money, now he's looking for a job. But because of the pandemic, all the stores are closed. <gasps> now he can't even find a job. So he's like, oh, I have to go back to the countryside. I'm gonna go back to the countryside and look for a job. He spent all his money. So he's going back to the countryside. Oh, in the distance he sees like a barn or a farm a ranch, and he's like, oh, maybe I should ask for a job over there. <laughs> I have nothing. I need to work for food and shelter. So he, he finds this farm. He asks the farm, can I work for you? I just need a place to sleep. Come on. I'll do anything. So the farmer's like, hmm. All right, you could work for me but I'm not going to give you food or, or water. I'm not going to give you anything, but I'll give you a place to sleep. Look, he looks so sad. And the farmer's like, here, go, go, feed, go feed the pigs. Now he has to feed the pigs, take care of the pigs. Ooh, pig stinky. What do pigs just eat, sleep, poop, eat, sleep, poop, eat, sleep, poop. Oh, he even has to clean their poopy. Ugh. <laughs> Gross. Ugh. And he has to even, he has to feed them. And he, while he's feeding the pigs in the trough, he's like, mmm, even the pig food looks delicious. Because he didn't eat or drink anything since he was working at this farm. Corn, garbage, leftovers. Oh, mm, that looks delicious. And he's like, oh, wait a second. He came back to his senses. Wait a second. Why do I want to eat pig food? Ah, I can't take it anymore. Sometimes when you slap yourself, you come back to your senses, right? Get it together. He's like, you know what, I'm going to go back home. And even if I need to work as a slave for my dad, I'm still going to do that. Because this is, because if even working as a slave for my dad, that's better than sleeping and eating with pigs, right? So he's like, okay, I made up my mind. I'm going to be my father's servant or slave. So he goes back home. And then dad sees his son 
coming from really far away. And what does the dad do? Do you think the dad ran after him to tackle him? You wasted all my money. But he did run. What do you think he did? <laughs> Shoulder check. No, no, no. He was so happy. And he came. And hugged the son. <gasps> Welcome back, sonny boy. He, didn't even, he, didn't, he wasn't even mad. Father already forgave the younger, younger son. And he called, he called uh, the servants in. And he told the servants, get my boy a fancy robe. What are you doing? Get my son rings and fancy shoes. His suit? A dirty. Oh, dirty? He was with pigs. And get the fattest cow and we'll have a barbecue party. Okay. So now the party starts. <laughs> and then oh, they invite everybody. And there's, there's music, loud music. <laughs> and then there are fireworks and disco lights and everything. And then oh, the older brother comes after a long day of work. He's like, what is going on? I hear music. <laughs> and then he sees a couple of his buddies. Oh, friends, what's going on here? Oh, fancy. And the older brother's like, what's going on here? And the friends are like, didn't you hear? Your younger brother is back. Now, how do you think the older brother felt? <gasps> Yay! Or like, what? That, that younger brother who betrayed me or betrayed our family and took all the money and left? Yeah, yeah he was angry, actually. See, now you're going to get beat up when you get home. <laughs> and then young, the older brother is outside. <laughs> Just like right now. <laughs> and then the dad came. Dude, why aren't you coming in? Your younger brother's here. And the, the older brother's like, why? You did this huge party with... <laughs> And you got the biggest, fattest cow that we were saving for a barbecue party. You never did this for me. Oh, my gosh. I was hanging out with my friends, and you didn't even give me a little goat. <laughs> but then what do you think the father said? Bro, son, you were always with me this whole time. Everything that I have, it's already yours. And the dad's like, of course we should celebrate and be glad because I thought your younger brother was dead. But he came back. He was lost, but now he's found. So just like that, it's like the father's heart, right? How do you think God feels when a sinner repents and comes back to God? Just like this. Celebrate. <laughs> But wait a second. Who is at fault here? The younger brother or the older brother? Younger brother? Because he ran away, right? Ugh. How about the older brother? He was at home the whole time. He was being a good boy. Who is at fault? Ah, both of them. Both of them in God's sight. Because younger brother actually left. Ah, troublemaker. Older brother, he was at home, but he still wasn't enjoying who he was. Ah, troublemaker. Now, okay, we use Banshee and Hapung picture, right? Are we, am I saying that Banshee and Hapung is actually like this? No, this is just example. Okay? Ah, Hapung's just seen. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. This is just example. Pungha. 
and Bunch Uggy. Soccer's FC. Did you get did you win today? Did you give all glory to God? You did this? You went to this? Oh, did you even score a goal? Okay. What did you just play that off cool? So you got the buzzer beater goal? You got the game winner? Oh, all glory to God, right? Okay. You learned from the best. Not you. Ah, oh, no, oh, not. Blessed by the Lord. Three, two, one. May the Lord bless y'all, keep y'all. May, may the Lord face shine upon y'all, be grace to y'all. May the Lord turn his face toward y'all, give y'all peace. Jesus healing. Homework. I don't know why we're packing up right now. Oh, prayer journal at school? Who brought their prayer journal to school? Okay. Who, okay, you brought it, but did you actually take a look at it? Five seconds? Good, yeah, be, be bold. There was this one remnant who was saying, oh, in my school, we have to choose pronouns. And then this remnant's like, oh, some people chose, uh, I identify as a male, and my name is blah, 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 blah. And then this other silly guy is like, I identify as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> So I want everybody to call me T-Rex. And the remnant's like, I don't want to do this. This is weird. But what should you just say? I identify as a child of God, so you need to call me child of God. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. That's easy. Yeah, take advantage of that situation. Yeah, I, we had a training at school too, the teachers. We have to be aware because some students might identify as something else. Oh, that I'm child of God. So you need to call me child of God. Oh, thanks. All right, find all the hidden objects. For those of you who weren't here on Wednesday. done and time's up sit down the reveal Starbucks Today, let's pray for um, Montenegro and Moldova. Christian, supposedly Christian, Orthodox, Christian Orthodox. Prayer transcends time and space, so let's pray for these two nations. Is everybody ready? All right. Three, three two, one. Dear God, may you bless Montenegro and Moldova so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise, shine the light of the gospel, and establish your kingdom there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, man. Close your eyes, fold your hands, let's pray. Dear God. We're praying right now. Who's packing up? Sarin. We're not packing up right now. 
and you got to whoosh. Uh, help us to know that we were once lost, but we are now found in Christ. And help us to focus on evangelism and missions so that there will be more parties in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Amen.